So how do you beat addictions? So according to the stories, there are guys some ways you can do to beat addictions. Step number one is if the focus on what you can control. So the story said that the dichotomy of control. So mask. Technical difficulties. So the story the story said the story said that you must focus on what you can control. So in life we have many problems. We have many things that we cannot control. Like but you have to focus on what you can control. That's the dichotomy of control. So these are the things that you need to remember. So step number two, according to Ryan Holiday, in the book The Obstacle is the Way. So it is a rubber time to acknowledge that some adversity might be impossible for you to defeat no matter how hard you try. Instead you must find some way to use the adversity, its energy to help yourself. So before I was in the Greeks, Stoics, I also struggled with adding my addiction, my story. I was addicted to, to alcohol as well. So, it's really important for guys really to overcome any kind of addiction. Okay, I was really struggling for you guys, but the number two, I'm out to be addiction according to the Stoics. If you, you must give up many things to which we are addicted, considering them to be good, otherwise courage will vanish, which should continually test itself. Greatness of soul will be lost, which can stand out unless it disdains as pity, what the move regards as most desirable, Seneca. So we must really give up on things that are addicted. So courage will not be vanished. So this is really important for you guys to really overcome addic addictions. Right? According to Seneca. Okay, so the first thing we need to remember is to acknowledge the present moment. This is number three. How to overcome any addiction. So you have to really acknowledge the present moment without trying to alter it according to their desires. It's coming to terms with the existence of cravings, uncomfortable feelings and triggers and accepting them is part of the human experience. Stoicism teaches that suffering arises not from external events themselves, but from our judgments about them. In the context of addiction, suffering intensifies when individuals judge themselves harshly for experiencing craving or falling into old habits. So you must acknowledge the present moment. They say, in order to overcome any addiction. So this is all number two. Okay guys, so number four is mindfulness awareness. This is number three, four goal for to help to crush your addiction. Now, what does mindful awareness mean? It involves observing one's thoughts, emotions and cravings as they arise without becoming entangled or controlled by them. This practice aligns perfectly with the stoic ideal of maintaining rational control over one's reaction for someone grappling with addiction. The ability to mindfully observe the cravings and impulses can be transformative instead of automatically succumbing to how just mindfulness allows individuals to step back and view these impulses a transient sensation like passing clouds in the sky. 
So you have to really, if it's normal for the casual addiction life, you really need to um to become mindful of its negative habits. So this is really important according to the stoics. Okay? must be aware of this negative addiction that you have. So, this is a number four. Okay, okay guys. So, another cool thing to really good with, with addiction is premeditation alone. The act of envisioning potential challenges in advance this practice allows to seek to mentally prepare themselves for adversity enabling them to respond rationally and effectively when faced with difficulties applying this technique to addiction recovery involves visualization scenarios where craving arises so if you guys premeditate before this addiction right this is a really cool practice according to the stoicism this is our number five last and yeah, really makes to really um overcome your addiction. I hope it's helpful guys. Please follow the stakes.